Hi guys, so today I've created this look for you and it is basically just a purple with some gold and um, I know it says lavender petals on the page but then I realized that this eyeshadow that I was using is called frosted lilac not frosted lavender so yeah that's why I changed the name to lavender petals but it's basically just sort of like a delicate flower type of thing it's sort of you know elegant and dramatic in its own way but it's not extremely over the top and dark so if you want to see how I did this then keep watching okay so I have primed my eye and now I'm going to take NYX single eyeshadow in frosted lilac and an elf eyeshadow brush and just pack that all over the lid Ooh. next I'm going to take this Alme Trio and this is the Intense Eye Color Trio for Greens number 104 and I'm going to take an e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to take this dark purple color and I'm going to put that just in the crease and I'm kind of doing this slowly because I don't want to get too much all at once Okay, now you can leave it purple like that, or you can put gold in with it, and the gold just kind of, um, I wouldn't say it, you know, makes it, like, darker or lighter or, you know, older or younger. It just sort of gives it a different look. So, um, for the gold, I'm using Golden Sunrise from CoverGirl. Sorry, the music was kind of loud. Um... So yeah, I'm just taking the same blending brush, and then I'm just going to put this, this coming from the inner um, corner of the eye, and then blending like this. You don't want to get it too far out. You're kind of going to leave that part darker, and then I'm going to go back and just darken that with a little bit more of this purple. So then, for the highlight... I'm going to use All May Pure Blends in Lavender, and I know that this looks really dark, but it's actually, it's very, very light, like it shows up dark in the package, but then it's just a very, not necessarily unpigmented color, but not a lot of product goes on. So once again, I'm taking a blending brush, and I'm just going to put that under the brow bone, and then like that and then just sort of blend down here, blend all that, but don't don't blend it out too much because we do want the definition between the light purple, the dark purple, and the gold. So then I'm going to go back to my frosted lilac and I'm taking just this little studio tools brush. I think this just came with some like cheap little makeup set, but this is just sort of the shape that I want. And I'm going to take some more of that frosted lilac, and I'm just going to put this inside the inner corner and bring it up just a little bit, just to lighten the lid back up since we blended some of the gold down onto it. And then we're putting this under the eye as well. Now I'm going to line my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And, oh, just lining the waterline, um, not like lining the upper lid. And then for my mascara, I'm going to use Maybelline Colossal. Okay, so that's it for the eyes, and then
For the cheeks, I'm going to be using this Rimmel. Okay, now for the cheeks, I'm going to be using this Rimmel blush, and this is in Berry. Just looks like that. And I just bought this at CVS today. Um, it was 84 cents or something like that. They're they're on clearance for 75 percent off, so they're under a dollar um, with tax. It's like 95 cents. So definitely, you know. I would try these. I already have one and I like the way it works. So I'm just going to get that and then for my lips I'm going to be using NYX lipstick in Talia or Talia. I'm not sure how you say that. I think it's Talia. And Sally Hansen Natural Butter Lip Shine in Lush. I'm so bad at putting on lip stuff with this mirror. So there is the look. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.